Hi there, I'm Zoot Java. Today I'd like to talk about Nancy Pelosi coming up with a brainstorm of introducing a universal basic income. She wouldn't even look sideways at Democratic presidential hopeful Andrew Yang when he cooked up this rehashed ancient scheme. But as the Wuhan virus circled the globe and caused almost every country to stupidly shut everything down and spiral their economies down and out, she fought against something. Something that was to be a quick help to everyone forced out of work by the government to maybe combat this disease. When she saw the Trump bucks be welcomed by the masses that suddenly found themselves with nothing as she sat back stuffing her face with gourmet ice cream, the blowback she got found her looking around for her spin on a freebie that she could spearhead. Something that would have her looking like a hero instead of the zero she made herself into from the depths of her $24,000 freezer full of frozen goodies. Andrew Yang spoke about the universal basic income, so she decided to pounce on this. After all, it fits right into the DNC playbook. We're giving you something for free, everybody, so keep those votes a-coming. Yang's argument falls back over a hundred years to the Luddites, who protested against the most basic of machinery being substituted for any manual labor. Remember him bringing up robots when talking about manufacturing? This, however, isn't a new concept when also finding jobs <coughs> being sent overseas in free trade agreements. Universal basic income has been touted by sending out shockwaves of fear that all jobs would be ended and Americans would be displaced by technology. He even tried to cause hysteria with statistics. Now, st statistics <laughs> are good, but they must be looked at realistically. For instance, he didn't mention that 40% of Americans were employed in agriculture in some form at the turn of the 20th century. However, by the end of the 20th century, only 1% of the population was employed in the field, yet America rose to economic superiority. Tractors and other forms of farm machinery caused millions of jobs to become obsolete, but there wasn't an economic disaster. Certain jobs always will be destroyed by innovation and technology, but this has been the way that our society has progressed for centuries. Yang claims that a value-added tax only needs to be brought about to stick it to the big bad corporations such as Amazon, whose innovations are eliminating much of the labor-intense employment. This is a ridiculous idea, and to believe it can work is nonsensical. The more you tax businesses, the more they spend huge amounts of time trying to find out how not to pay it. If they find themselves with large amounts of taxation forced upon themselves that they can't seem to avoid paying, they resort to Plan 2. Plan 2 is to simply raise the prices and get the money that they have to pay from the consumers. If they know that the consumers have an extra, say, $1,000 a month, then they will raise their prices to eventually cost an extra thousand dollars so that they can pay for the extra taxes that the governmental geniuses levied upon them in order to redistribute it in the form of their universal basic income. But it allows hucksters like Yang and slimy Nancy Pelosi to grab onto this idea to give money that will only be swallowed up in raised costs and give it to unsuspecting citizens as something that they will be under the impression is free for them not realizing that in reality they are only going to be giving it back to the companies who are getting pe penalized to pay for it in the first place now for the part that you've all been waiting for my bad joke the other day I had two women pounding on my front door for almost a half an hour. They didn't stop until finally the police showed up and they were able to let them out. <clears throat> anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. Hit the bell for notifications of more of my words of wisdom and 
spread my content on all your social media as I tend to get censored by all the usual suspects. So until later, have a Java on Zoot.